So we've created our assembly file and you saw how we inserted the base part, but let's uh, let's focus on that for a second. On this insert, we can say insert component an existing part or assembly, a new part or new assembly. Yes, in fact, uh, you can insert assembly into an assembly because sometimes it's just easier to make say a sub-assembly of a screw and a washer and a lock washer and then bring that assembly with those three components into your assembly. It just makes for building your assembly file a little bit easier for insertions. Alright, so again insert component I'm going to go existing part and let's build it from Let's put let's bring in the feet. Okay. So now this foot, this is a rubber foot for the bottom, and it's not quite rotated. We'll take care of that in the next video. Um, we're gonna go insert component existing part, and we will bring in the red button. Existing component and let's bring in the cover okay all right so now you're a pro at understanding how to bring in components into an assembly file uh, one very important thing to do you're gonna see me save an awful lot and that's just years of experience in CAD systems that crash whenever you don't want them to so when your assembly starts getting big I would say save every time you insert something that's one less thing you have to insert if you crash and when does this stuff always crash when your deadlines are coming so save often alright join me on the next one and we're gonna put this guy together